It seems hard to believe that it's already week 7 of Strictly Come Dancing and that there are just 10 celebrities left in the competition. After last week saw Debbie McGee topping the leaderboard and Simon Rimmer being shown the door, now things are starting to get serious. Blackpool week ISNT far away but to be in with a chance of making it in a few weeks' time, first the celebs will have to get through Saturday night. Here's everything you need to know, from the songs and dances to what time Strictly's on this weekend. What time is Strictly Come Dancing on TV? Strictly Come Dancing will air at 6.50pm on Saturday the 4th of November on BBC One and will end at 8.20pm. What time is the Strictly Results Show on Sunday? The Results Show runs from 7.15pm to 8pm on Sunday the 5th of November on BBC One. Trizia Kudalu, Rev Richard Coles, Charlotte Hawkins, Brian Conley and Simon Rimmer have already been eliminated, but who will be going home this week? The musical guest this week will be Stereophonics. What are the songs and dance for Strictly this weekend? Alexandra Burke or Kumar Kez, Cha Cha to I Got the Music in Me by Marsha Hines Although generally Alexandra Burke has given what to us look like near faultless performances on the dance floor, the judges have kept critiquing her feet when she's dancing with Gorku Marquez. Although she seemed to bring everything together for Halloween week, earning a grand total of 35 points from the judges, this could be tricky. The cha-cha is a notoriously difficult dance for the celebrities to master, and although Alexandra has the potential to be fantastic, will she be able to master this tricky routine? Molly King A.J. Pritchard, Fox Trot to Call Me Irresponsible by Connie Francis, Poor Molly King and A.J. Pritchard. Despite being nowhere near the bottom of the leaderboard last weekend, they still found themselves in the bottom two alongside Simon Rimmer. Unsurprisingly, Simon went home and Molly lived to dance another day. Hopefully viewers will realize she's perhaps not as safe as they'd maybe presumed she was. Either way, if she's to be in with a real chance of staying out of the danger zone she's going to have to improve her scores. Yanni Peacock OT I'm Abuse, Salsa did Turn Me On by Kevin Little Yanni Peacock and OT I'm Abuse had something of a bum night on Halloween week. After putting in so many solid performances, it was a bit of a shocker to see them landing a score of just 20. Although maybe it was all because of the cha-cha it seems to be one of the dances that celebrities score the least on so perhaps he'll do a bit better this week with a salsa. Ruth Langsford and Tan Dubique, Paso Doble to the Shady Dame from Seville by Julie Andrews We've had some incredible Paso Dobles throughout this series of Strictly so far, from Aston Mary Gold scoring 38 to Gemma Atkinson and Joe McFadden both landing 35s for their turns with the cape. Will Ruth Langsford and Anton Dubique be able to replicate such incredible scores? Erm, we think, perhaps not. But one thing's for sure, Anton waving about a big cape will never not be entertaining. Joe McFadden Katya Jones, Charleston to Alexander's Ragtime Band by Ella Fitzgerald Holly City's Joe McFadden and Katya Jones have been gradually getting better and better each week. They scored a solid row of 8s last week for their Fox draw, while Joe became the second celebrity of the series behind Alexandra Burke to score 10. Charleston's usually managed to score well with both the judges and the viewers at home, and we're in no doubt that Joe will do something completely amazing. We're going to say it, we're predicting more tens. Debbie McGee Giovanni Pernis, Tango to I Got a Feeling by Black Eyed Peas Debbie McGee and Giovanni Pernis topped the leaderboard last week again with their fun-loving, high-energy Charleston. If before we were refusing to believe that Debbie was 58, now we were convinced she must have added 10 onto her age. She got a total score of 39 from the judges, matching Alexandra Burke's Tina Turner-inspired jive. Now the race is on to land that elusive perfect 40. Gemma Atkinson Alges Scorgenek, Salsa to Sun comes up by rudimental feet. James Arthur Gemma Atkinson and Al J. Scorgenek are another strictly couple who have got better and better as the weeks have gone on. Although their jive last week WASNT their best performance, we still think Gemma is something of a dark horse with plenty more to give in her routines. Surely she's a dead cert for the final Susan Kalman Kevin Clifton, drive to this old house by Shaken Stevens Susan Kalman and Kevin Clifton had a bit of a rough ride with the judges last week, with Shirley Ballas saying to the pair you know how much I love you, but again for me it lacked grace, it lacked elegance, dot not your best dance for me, today. That prompted Kevin to pipe up with I love you too, surely, but for the Halloween Game of Thrones Fox draw, Grace WASNT really what we were going for, which thankfully caused Shirley to laugh and the audience to applaud. Luckily the whole thing was more Anton Dubique and less Brendan Cole. When Susan has performed best it's been all about her personality and the fun she brings to the routine. 
that's a good sign this week after all, who does and have fun with a jive the Vudgadami Nadia Bichkova, American Smooth to this will be an everlasting love by Natalie Cole the Vudgadami and Nadia Bichkova seemed like early favorites but have struggled in recent weeks with lower marking and tricky routines. Craig only gave the pair a measly 5 for their rumble last week, but the American Smooth is generally a higher scoring dance that is easier for the male professionals than the dreaded rumba. We still hope that Davud has a secret dancer trapped within him that's just bursting to get out. Aston Mary Gold Jeanette Manrara, Viennese Waltz to Who's Loving You by Jackson 5 Way way back in the day, Aston Mary Gold was on stars in their eyes kids singing as Michael Jackson. And now, instead of showing off his vocals, this Saturday he will be dancing a Viennese waltz to this Jackson 5 number. Seems rather fitting, really. Anyway, there are a few celebrities who could easily be the first to score that perfect 40, but with Jeanette Manrera's choreography always having so much praise heaped on it by the judges, will they be the first to do it this weekend? Strictly Come Dancing airs Saturday the 4th of November on BBC One.